Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to have another first look into a game called Kit and it's actually about logic circuits, so one of my favorite topics. This game has been on Steam Greenlight very recently and I think it's going to be released on Steam in April next month. However, there's already an open beta in case you're interested in playing it for yourself. I'm going to play through the first basic puzzles and as soon as it gets a little more complex we will actually be stopping this video just so that you can experience the rest of the beta for yourself. I don't want to play through everything and spoil all the puzzles. That's always a little bit of an issue with puzzle games. Anyways, Kit, how does it deal with logic gates? It actually uses a whole bunch of symbols as you can see. For instance, we have our power sources represented as a battery and then we have uh, a current stopper. Basically, I can choose to let the current flow or not. The third symbol on the right side, of course, is the target. That's what we want to activate in order to solve the puzzle. Now, of course, this first one is like a little tutorial, just like the, the next few puzzles, but it's going to get more complicated and you get an idea on how this game could be much more complex in later levels. So let's hit the space bar and check out the next puzzle. Here we are, our first gate. We got D and gate, of course. You can hover over it and read at the bottom what it does if, in case you're unsure. So what we want to do basically is open up both of these circuits in order to activate the AND gate and therefore the target. Of course. Let's continue. We know about that type of logic. Next, we are getting introduced into the position. So I can choose to either let the current flow through here or through the other side. And of course, we don't want to activate the bomb that is logical. So there we go. And now, what the heck are we gonna do? Of course, we don't want to activate this AND gate because it will activate the bomb. Therefore, we need to take this current away and let it flow into the target. All right, cool, cool. So far, so good. Next up, we have the laboratory. There we go. We already have three targets this time and we are introduced into two new gates. This here is an OR gate. So either of these lines is gonna let the current flow through and this one here is actually only active if both inputs are the same. So I think that that was an XOR gate, wasn't it? No, I'm confused. However, as you can see, both of these inputs are zero and therefore the current is flowing. That means we don't need to do anything else for the bottom here. Also, this gate here is a NOT gate, so it will invert the current. If we have a current flowing in, then there is nothing flowing out. Therefore, if we switch this around, we should be seeing some changes. This NOT gate is gonna let the current flow through and also we have a little problem right here. We of course don't want that because both of these inputs need to be the same so that the current can flow through. Here, we only need one type of input in order to make this work. Therefore, we are gonna switch this around and here we have all of the targets activated. So you can see how this can get more complicated as we go along here. I'm gonna continue to the next puzzle and here it is about finishing is not important. Okay, so we want to activate this AND gate. Here we have also a gate that is only active if both inputs are the same. So what if we switch this around? There we go, we have both inputs the same and... Oh, this was actually already the solution, I see. Of course, makes sense. Okay, we are in level 7. We need to activate three targets. We have a NOT gate right here. So theoretically, if we switch this around, this target is already active. Then we have an AND gate right here. So we will have to utilize both of these switches. Now, how can we activate this AND gate? Well, we actually don't need to because we only need one current right here in order to activate this OR gate. Therefore, all I have to do is switch this around and we got the targets. Beautiful. Next up, we have the flip-flops, those guys. So if you activate the flip-flop once, then it will change its state until you activate it again. That means if I switch this around, you should see this flip-flop turning on and this flip-flop still being active. There we go. Actually, I need to activate this as well, but there we go. We have both of the lines active. However, what is this gate about? Let's read. This is a NOR gate, so active when no input is on. Therefore, we have to kind of switch this around. We have to activate this once and this once. There we go. The flip-flops have reverted their output and therefore the target is activated. 
Next up, we have level 9. Alright, we have a couple of bombs in the joint. Of course, we don't want to activate them. For instance, this current is pointing towards the bomb. Let's switch that around. Also, we have an ant gate right here that we want to activate and something new here. Ah, this is actually an XOR gate. Active when exactly one input is on. Let me see, uh, the equal sign was active when both inputs are the same. And we also got a NOT gate right here, so we do not want to switch this around. We want to leave this active at all times, otherwise the bomb is gonna explode. So I only need to do things with these two guys. So if I switch this around, then we have this one activated. And if I cut the current right here, then this should work out. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's still very easy. Still very easy. However, it will get more complex. You will see the developer of the game actually wrote me an email about um, a month ago in order to test out the demo version. I never really got to it. So it is now in open beta and you guys can try it out too. However, he mentioned that the last 15 levels are especially exciting because right now of course it still kind of introduces you into the level and later on there are gonna be like a about a hundred levels and let me tell you at the end of this video you will see that it's not going to last you will have to activate your brain holy cow okay so what do we have we have a not gate here we only want one input to be active and oh geez okay here we have a xor no this is a nor gate active when no input is on so we have to activate this one and oh geez yeah i see i see i see uh let's uh, let this activate here and then we go back again and mm, let me see i should be able to do that and now we have only one active input that means this is on and it goes through here okay then we want to deactivate this does that work let me read that again. Uh, what does that? Nor active when no input is on. So we have to go and do that. No. Let me see. We have to deactivate the upper gate. Something like that. And now we have to make sure that this isn't on anymore. So I'm going to do that and that. There we go. Now this isn't on. Oh no. This has to be on. Let me see. <laughs> I have to turn this on again. There we go. Okay, we did it. Maybe I did it before as well and I just didn't realize. But there we go. Successfully done the flip-flop training session. A tiny a difference. So here we have an AND gate and here we have an OR gate. We want... What do we want to do? We want to activate this target. There are no bombs, so that's fine. Here we have an OR gate. We don't need both of these lines. So maybe we go up right there. And we could go through this OR gate and up there. And we have the AND and OR gate activated. No problemo. That was an easy one. Sometimes you can just see the solution. Oh, okay. Here we have our first lock. And these guys, oh man, oh man, they are not that easy. So the lock just reset. We have up and down. Then we have middle, down. We have down. We have up. So this is our combination. First of all, up and down. So let's try to activate those. We're gonna activate um, up and down. So all we have to do is do that. And we have up and down activated. So we can release that again because we have flip-flops going on here. Now we only want down, I believe. No, middle and down. So we want to switch that around, but not the other guys. No, actually this one. So if I change the state of the upper and the middle one, we should have our second combination. There we go. Now I only want the down, right? So we are going to do that and now I have only down and now I only want up. So we have to switch this guy and this guy there. Up. There we go. And we got the target. So that was pretty good. We got the lock unlocked. This was just the first tutorialized lock actually. Other locks are gonna be much more difficult. We got something here. If the line is active, it's gonna go through the green. If it's not active, it's gonna go through the red. So you can see at the moment it's not active, but it's activating this target. However, we also have these radio stations. When one of these stations is activated, this guy is gonna send a signal. So it's kind of like a transmitter and receiver. And once we have a signal here, of course, we can activate this. So theoretically, we only have to activate the signal once in order to activate the flip-flop. So let's do that, actually. We are going to activate this once. And there we go. We got this target permanently active as long as we don't activate another signal. Right here. This target is already active. And also uh, this one. So there's only one missing right there. Kill. Cool. Okay. 
Set and done. Beautiful. We are at level 14. We're gonna play approximately two more levels, including this one, and then it's gonna get extremely difficult, and I don't want to take everything away. I played until level 18, but it took me quite a while to even solve level 16, and I seriously don't necessarily want to take that away from you. But right now you can download this game for free and just, you know, play it yourself, so there's really no risk involved at the time of making this video. Okay, we got something else here. This guy, uh, once active, stays active for freaking ever. Okay, that's good to know. This guy here, when both inputs are the same, it's active. We have a NOT gate that needs to be active. Okay, now, ah, I see the problem. If I activate this and the current is gonna flow through here, then it's gonna activate this AND gate and the bomb is gonna explode. So the first thing I have to do is switch this around and make sure this guy is gonna be activated. So this NOT gate is not active anymore. And now I should be able to do that and... Oh yeah, that was actually already the solution. Cool. Now we are at, uh, what, puzzle 15 or so out of 100 in total. I'm not sure if 100 is when it's released or right now. However, there will also be a sandbox mode where you can actually make your own puzzles with all of the gates, etc, etc. Anyways, this is going to be the last puzzle for now. If you're interested in this game, also go to the Steam Greenlight page and check out what's new right there. Okay, so I want to switch this around. That would mean it will activate this bomb. So we're gonna deactivate this current. Then, let me see. We want... What do we want? We want to not activate this bomb. That means here, when both inputs are the same, we want to make sure that we switch both inputs. If I switch this around, then this current is gonna go away. But then we need to make sure that the current can flow through here and there maybe. But we would need this also to be activated. But looking at this, this can also go through here. So we have this AND gate active. So if I deactivate this line, then this line is going to be active and therefore the bomb is still not going to explode. Yeah, there we go. And we even got the target. That was by accident. But of course, it does make sense looking at it now. Pretty cool. So let's already have a look at the next puzzle. However, we're not going to solve that. It took me about half an hour to actually solve that lock combination because you can see it's a long combination and also you have to use a radio signal and not a direct input in order to influence those. Additionally, you have a second target that has to be active. Now what I didn't observe is whether or not this has to be active on the last combination or all the time because this might be a problem. But yeah guys, with that out of the way, I'm gonna wrap up this first look. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye bye.